Okay, so we're back with some immersive taming and we got our dilos and I'm starving. So what I think I'm going to do today is this trike has been around my base this whole time. It was actually trapped over there, but it, it, it hasn't wandered too far, but it is a good level and it'd be good for us to have a kind of a beefier dino. So I'm thinking that we tame that one up because these guys, I mean, they're cool, but I don't know. They take a long time to kind of get around and stuff. Oh, but they did leave me an egg. Now, I was just looking to see if I could do something with kibble, and it doesn't look like I can do anything with kibble yet. So, because before when I dropped the bag for that trike, it only gave me like 3% or something. And then what I started to do was I started to see what was actually available. And right now we have the bait cooler, which I guess is just like a preserving bin. And I don't know if you can put other stuff in it and everything. Um... Maybe we should make one of those. And then we have the bait balloon, a sturdy balloon made out of hide and polymer. Attached to the baits allow them to float in the air or submerge to the water surface. Will automatically attach when placed in a hot bar next to a thrown bait. Can manually attach to any bait that has been thrown. So I guess something like this would be useful in the case of a flyer. In the last episode, I did accidentally feed a pteranodon which i didn't really want to do that but that's what happened and i was very confused at that at first because i was trying to tame the dilos and stuff i'm gonna make this bait cooler and i need more spark powder so the grind for spark powder is real uh we're going to need an anki soon oh okay i got some spark powder that's okay <laughs> but we're going to need an anki soon uh I'm trying to think where I can get one easily. I feel like the only place I can get one easily is if I make a venture out to the desert or, or, or there's sometimes some around Blue Obelisk. So hmm, maybe, maybe we'll do that today. We'll get this trike so I can have a little bit of a battle trike and that'll be good. And it'll allow me to carry more stuff because right now I can't carry very much things. So, yeah, let's do that. So I did just make... I'm all over the place. I did just make the cooler. Oh, this seems tiny. This seems tinier than you. Yeah, this is very tiny, actually. <laughs> this is like a mini fridge. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then this will allow us to put baits and stuff in there, which... Can I put the egg in here? No, I cannot put a regular stuff in there. Can I put meat in there? No. So I can only put the bait in there. Yeah. All right. Well, that's okay. Uh. Oh, yeah. Our one crystal. Let's put it on the dodo. The jewel of my thatch hut. We also need to find a place to live, too. Um. I don't know if I want to live here. I think I might want to live on that rock. But there's a lot of good... This is a good spot, honestly, because it's just like... There's a lot of metal in that direction there. And then any, like, winter biome snow stuff is like right there so i can get polymer and stuff from penguins but a lot of these things i kind of need to fly with so let's get started teaming this guy here you go you want to take it now from what i understand okay enjoys being fed by you it could be lasting friendship good great now what are you at 3.9 so, from what I understand, the beginning part of it is kind of slow. Kind of slow. And then it eventually picks up once you can do more stuff to interact with the dino. Which is pretty good. So, we're going to wait until we gotta feed this guy again. Because I don't think I can actually pet it. Oh, I don't want sand. See, it's startled from being pet by me, so... Doesn't like it yet, so we're just going to have to keep dropping a couple bags and just getting that percentage up. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, get some more meat. Also, I was thinking a little bit on where I want to take this series, and because it's so interactive, I don't know. I was thinking about possibly just streaming every episode, uh, because I like to try and keep my actual like episodes on the shorter side. And the last two episodes were around like 35, almost 40 minutes. And that's a little long for me. 
Uh, I mean, if you guys enjoy watching that, then I'll keep doing it. But I, I want to cut things out, but I want to like keep in a lot of what this mod is and stuff as well. So it was making me think that maybe I should do streaming for this and just stream this whole series instead and then maybe make shorter episodes of just highlights and stuff where I'm not explaining as much and I'm just kind of showing off just what happened in the episode. So I don't know. I'm just uh, kind of thinking of a bunch of different things. Um, lately, YouTube's been changing a lot of stuff. So I had a whole bunch of plans, honestly, going into this year. And there was a lot of things I wanted to do. And then they changed a bunch of stuff. So it's kind of making me rethink my my strategy here, I guess. Um, I mean, I'll still be making videos either way. It's just about how they're released and edited and all that jazz. So I guess just let me know what you guys think about that. If that's something you'd be into or if I should just keep just making just the regular episodes or what. OK, but we are going to need to make some more berries very bait. Okay, so I haven't gotten a prompt yet that I can actually like touch it, but it seems like every percentage is about like three to four percent for each bag. So it's a little slow at first, and I think I'm on like my fourth feeding, fourth or fifth feeding right now. This is not the ideal spot for this, but we just need some stuff going on because I need a metal pick or else we're going to have the crystal situation happen again. Hey, Trike. <laughs> <laughs> right up in our stuff. So where are we at right now? We're at 23. Do you want another berry bag? Yes, you do. 27. Okay, no longer perceives you as a, as a threat and will not attack unless provoked. All right, cool. So that was about five or six feedings I did, and I got to 27%, 27.5%. So I think I could probably pet it now. Yes. Okay, so it enjoys being pet by me, and petting doesn't really do that much. I feel like that's just more for you. <laughs> like... Like if you just like petting animals. So we're going to keep feeding the, the berry bags. And then I think once it gets up a little higher, then I think I can probably do some other stuff. And then it'll be a bit better, maybe. I don't know, because it's like it's really around my stuff all the time. You want to eat that? Yep. OK, let's see if it does more. It did a little bit more because it was at 28. So now it's like five. Because before, the bags were giving me like 3%, 3 to 4%. All right. So we're just going to keep that up. Okay, so it likes to see even more. It can be fed hand baits and corpses. So a hand bait, from what I understand, I was doing it wrong. So it's basically still the berry bait here. But what you do is you put it into the last bar or the last bar slot, just like you would normally pass to feed something. And then I think I can just go up to it and feed it, I guess, when it's ready. Let's pet it. Oh, there you go. And that did a whole bunch. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the number exactly, but that did a good bit. Good bit more. So we're probably just going to keep feeding it baits. But did it take a lot more? I feel like I had more than five. I really don't know. All right, but yeah, I can pet and I can wait till it's hungry. Okay, but yeah, see, okay, so it, it got a little confusing at first. So it said feed berry bag instead of pet. Actually, that didn't do that much at all. What gives? <laughs> I feel like that's more for me again. All right, so dropping it on the floor and giving it to it is the same about. Now, at least for the herbivores, maybe it's a little different for carnivores. I still haven't tested it yet with carnivores. With the corpses, if you bring it a bigger corpse, if it does more percentage. Oh, he just kind of waits for me to give him the food now. Okay. Because I just dropped that one and he'd rather take it from my hand than eat it on the floor. You want ground berries? You do good for ground berries. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think that I've ever made a thatch hut and put a forge and a smithy in it. I mean, I've, I built a thatch square and put a forge and smithy on it, but yeah, we're, we're living here right now. What is this thing over here? Like, see, he wants, he wants more food over here, willing to burn himself for it. 
Okay, so any friends and all that stuff. All right. I'm over here. I got to make a metal pick. So let's see. Metal pick. Metal pick. Let's get one going. And pull. Yes. All right. Now we got metal tools. All metal tools. Look, it comes all the way over here. I was over here naming these guys. And here you go. You get some more food. No pet you. And then it wanted me to care for it, but I gotta get some more berry baits. Okay, but we named this one Dinky. This one's Blinky. And then we're gonna name this one Dot. Because <laughs> why not? Dot. There we go. All right, so let me make some more berry baits. Yeah, that's the only problem. Like, I feel like, I mean, I guess it's no different than like regular taming, but you would have to have all the berry baits that you think that you would need, which I don't know if that's indicated at all by the, uh, why did I do that? Oh, I need more spark powder. Okay, so, um, but yeah, I don't know if that's indicated in here. If it tells you how much you would actually need. You can do the berry. You can do the veggies. So we might want to get crops going. But I don't really want to get any crops going. Until I know where we're living. Uh, botany bale bait. Oop. Didn't want to do that. See it comes running over here. <laughs> but. Okay botany bale bait. I haven't checked that one out yet. But okay. Oh, so it does affect stuff. I'm not sure exactly in terms of numbers here. Team effectiveness isn't a thing, but it has hand fading efficiency. So I don't know if these numbers will affect how much percentage it gets, which that would make sense. But he's hungry again, so because he's bothering me. Look, 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 there you go. There you go. Oh, we might get a we might get a present. But yeah, it's kind of funny that they do come over here when they're hungry again. But are you going to trap me? Because you're not going to get any more food if that's the case. All right. But I got to make some more spark powder. I'm making all the spark powder. Let's go. Okay. And what else did I need? I think I need mayo berries. Mayo, mayo. What do you guys say? And we need fiber. Okay. So I need to go out with this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get some more berries and fiber. Alright, so I'm checking out the botany bale bait. Yeah, I figured it was going to be something like this. This is almost like making, uh, what, like superior kibble? Maybe, maybe that tier, maybe above that. But you need giant bee honey, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, and sap, and stimulant. Um, so we can't do any of that stuff right now. Because even like the veggie one, you need every single vegetable, which we don't have that either. Now, on Ragnarok, there are uh, a, uh, there are two places where you can get stuff. I mean, it's, it's actually one place. It's in the Highlands. But you can get rock carrots and you can get Savo root as well. Oh, I didn't even grab the, the berries. Because, yeah, man, when this guy's hungry, he like wants it. He wants it now. All right. Let's feed you again, maybe? You can give me a present. You hungry? Care for? And then let's feed you the bait. Alright. So I've probably interacted with this guy at least like, I want to say like 15 times. Probably 15, 15, 20 times maybe. Um, it's going by a little bit faster now, I feel like, once it gets past that 25% mark. Yeah, he comes back a little bit more, but this is definitely still like my taming rates are normal. Like I didn't change any of that stuff. So everything is aside from the mod is all vanilla rates. It's all official rates and everything. Um, I think I did bump up my gathering a little bit, but like not a lot. And that's how much taming it's doing and stuff. So, I mean, I guess if you did use kibble or something like that, then, you know, it would just be a lot more. Just like a regular passive tame. Alright. So will this guy help me battle stuff? Let's uh 
Let's test it out. Let's let's see. Let's bring this turtle over here from downtown. Downtown turtle. There we go. Okay, he's gonna come down here and try to wreck all my stuff. Unless there's another turtle around. Is there another turtle? Oh wait, we're in a battle. <laughs> I don't know what level you are. But yeah, I um I'm going to need some crystal. Lower my weapons. Okay. Care for you. I'm gonna pet you. Alright, let's go into battle now. He's probably going to wreck this guy. What level are you, 20? Yeah, he'll wreck you. Alright, he's attacking me. He's attacking me, guy! You're not going to help me? <gasps> he's not going to help me. Why? But I cared for you and loved you and fed you. Alright, well, good thing you're just a turtle. Good thing it wasn't nothing serious, Trike. Jeez. Lazy. He's so ungrateful. I gave him so much food. He's been hanging around begging for food for like four days now. Whatever. Alright. We're almost done with this turtle though. Hopefully none of his buddies show up. And your buddies show up. And then what? Why? Why? You gonna come over and want a treat? You didn't even do anything. Come on. Alright. I should probably make some hide armor because we're gonna go out adventuring and stuff. Oh, you wanna be cared for? Oh, was that tra <laughs> traumatizing? Oh, oh, it took up to 87%. Okay. Let's find something else to kill. Uh, I guess this turtle. Let's go with this turtle. Mm. There we go. Menacing turtle. He's going to help us in battle. Let's go. Or it said may. Are you going to may protect me in battle? You better protect me in battle. What level are you? One four. Mm. All right. Oh, because this is going to do more stuff. Oh, he's going to mess him up. Look at him. He's going to mess him up. Get him. But he doesn't stay with it. It's only kind of like, yeah, it's only like a little bit. Oh, they're getting in on it, too. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Everyone's getting in on it. We might lose the Dilos, though. Hit me again. So the trike protects me. He likes that. This is so silly. <laughs> oh, man. Protect me again. Okay, they got him. They got him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so they only help you a little bit. It's only a tiny bit. Care for. And we got it. All right. Nice. What do we name you? I don't know what to name you. You you get you get green and black. You're kind of like uh, you're kind of like a junior mint, maybe. I mean, junior mints aren't green and black, but they are minty. You minty fresh? We can call you that. Minty fresh? Yeah, let's call you minty fresh. <laughs> minty fresh. All right. So, we need to get a saddle for you, which I should have enough stuff. Where did the... Oh, my God. The mosh chops ran off. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> well, hopefully... Uh, I don't know what direction it ran into. Where did it go? We got to find that thing now. All right. Let me make a saddle real quick. I mean, he took all my stuff. He took all my stuff. Jeez. All right. Yeah, he took all my wood and stuff, I think. Yeah, I don't have enough. All right, I got to go find this uh, moss chops now. Don't know what direction he could have gone in. It could have been anything. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Let's see. He was facing this way. So he probably ran in this direction. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to run around with this trike for a little bit. You know what? No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm going to make the saddle. All I need is 25 wood. So, I can do that myself. I don't need the moss chops. Okay, now we got... Trike. Saddle. And... There we go. Okay. Also, I just noticed something. So, that is pretty cool. Uh, so, when the, the regular meat bait spoils you get 
this one. Now, I don't think the same is for this meat bait that was down here. I don't have it anymore. But I don't think the same is for that one. But that's uh, actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's get the saddle on here. Now let's go for the search for the moss chop. But what are your stats like? Mm, it's been a while since I've tamed a trike and actually paid attention to its stats. <laughs> so I think this is good. Uh, I think this is decent. Yeah, this looks decent. Okay, we're going to go kill some stuff. But we got to go find my moss chops, though, because uh, we actually need that thing for fiber and stuff. Now, originally, I wanted to get... I wanted to get an Anki as well, but, like, I don't know. Like I said earlier, these episodes running kind of long. I don't I don't know what you guys prefer, because uh, either way, it's just like I record for a certain amount of time and then I try to edit it down as much as I can to get to the, the bits that are actually are important or interesting. But uh, yeah, I guess just let me know. All right. Doesn't seem like the Moss Chops is over here. I really wish there was a way to put like, I know you can put a tracker on stuff. But I wish you could have done it sooner. Look at this pink Dilo. That would have been cool if you were over here earlier. Pink Dilo. You're going to get it now, though. 135, 135. Oh, the 135 trike doing 135 damage. I don't know if that's good. Look at these Dilos. 95. Okay. This is free hide, though. Free hide and meat. Let's go. Alright, the search for the moss chops continues. <laughs> Bad old truck. I think I see a moss chops off in the distance just standing there. So he didn't go that far. If this is him, I don't know. Is that a rock? That might be a rock. <laughs> is this a moss chop? It's mine. Okay, we found him. The great search ends. Oh man, that is such an annoying mechanic for them. It's it's so bad. It's so bad. This guy's all neutral too. He's not gonna do anything. Big old scaredy cat. Okay, come on, let's go. Follow Minty Fresh. All right. Uh... Oh, and another trike showed up. Can we battle this trike? I mean, I don't want to scare the moss chops again. Jeez, this little ding dong. Let me check what level you are. 95. Okay, let's battle this other trike real quick. Battle. Battle. Oh, we we do the battles? Let's go. Oh, Minty Fresh. Come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, they're thinking all of them. That stupid Moss Chops. <laughs> Come on, Moss Chops. <laughs> Stop. I can't with this Moz Chops. <laughs> Going into battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the Moz Chops is ridiculous. We need to get you your own little baby pen. And so, so, you, so you don't go anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, okay. The Dylos are doing stuff now. The Dylos are definitely doing things now. But yeah, so we got a brand new trike. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I think we're going to have to go and get an Anki and stuff, but I think I'll save that for the next episode. We do need to get some more crystals so I can get a spyglass and things like that. But we do have this trike, and we can get a lot more berries. I mean, the Moss Shops is good, at it, but not if he keeps running away. Not if he keeps running away. So, but yeah, this pretty much wraps it up for this episode. Uh, if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like. And subscribe for more stuff like this. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me and take care.